Thank you so much for coming and I know it was last minute for you uh, to cover this. I appreciate that um, and sorry for the loss of Vicky. <laughs> no um, but I was wondering if you could tell me a little bit about why you got involved in this domain and what interests you and what your passion is. Sure. Well, I think if you look at the, the trends in the industry, right, there's some big macro trends that are going on. Um, you know, you've got this kind of wave of, uh, of investing going into passive investments, right? Um, and, you know, you've, really active management firms are really hard to, to beat, you know, the indexes, all that sort of stuff, right? And so uh, more and more, you know, it's, it's really about delivering a well-diversified portfolio that can take advantage of these things and not trying to, you know, light the stars out with performance, all that sort of stuff. And so robos really uh, are a great uh, ability to deliver that well-diversified portfolio and take that, you know, kind of institutional quality investing, right, that these guys got these great uh, technologies and capabilities, but being able to, to deliver that to, to everyone, right? And you can do that in a nice algorithmic way and uh, be able to deliver uh, better tech too to people at the same time uh, to, to really make our lives easier, right? Whether it's the end user or, you know, an advisor or a, a big enterprise, right? They all need uh, really good tech to help their lives be a lot better and automated and, and uh, so that they can really focus on the right things. And so what do you guys at Robust Wealth do? <laughs> we, in summary, we're an automated wealth management platform, but we are B2B, so we just, uh, we white label everything, we deliver that tech stack to advisors or to a bank or to a, a TAMP or to a large enterprise, and we um, deliver kind of two areas of, of expertise. One is our uh, kind of investment capabilities. We, we've got some pretty sophisticated models and algorithms and things that can deliver these uh, portfolios that are customized to uh, individuals' goals and time frames and risk levels, you know, all those types of things that to deliver these customized target date funds to them. Uh, and then on the flip side, we have a lot of tech features that makes advisors or banks or enterprises' lives a lot easier and simple, um, saves them uh, from having to deal with a lot of the, you know, the small things that take a lot of time and allows them to concentrate on the things that they want to, which is their larger customers and being able to add value in ways other than, you know, filling out forms and, and processing trades, those types of things. And where do you think it's all going, the robo-advisory domain? Well, it's, uh, you know, I think of it as in terms of like uh, TurboTax, right? I mean, TurboTax came in and, and everyone thought it was going to wipe out, you know, H&R Block or those types of guys, right? But, but H&R Block is still around. I mean, and TurboTax is great for the end uh, consumer that's very comfortable in doing their own taxes and filling that stuff and it automates a lot of things. But H&R Block, they've got their own software too, right? And, and it allows the advisor, again, to automate a lot of things that they don't want to do, but spend more time individually. And it gives the, the client kind of that hand-holding, you know, things that they want as well. So for robos, again, it's giving the end client, you know, the opportunity if they're very comfortable doing their own things or giving an advisor the tools that they need, again, to focus on the right things and be able to deliver uh, more time spent on, the, you know, the clients that they want to, more time prospecting, doing those types of things that they want to do. So the future looks bright. <laughs> well, thanks so much again, Thad, for coming, and I'm sure it's going to be a fascinating panel. Hey, thank you for having me. Appreciate it.